Hello everyone, welcome back to our military cavalry channel. In this video, we will present to you, South Korea's K9 Hotsa, the military vehicle all over the world want. Without any further ado, let's start the discussion. Republic of Korea Army drew up its requirements for a new indigenous 155mm tracked Hotsa to meet the requirements of 21st century. Key operational requirements included a higher rate of fire, longer range, better accuracy, and faster into and out of action times. Development of the K9 Thunder began in 1989. It was developed as a replacement for the M109A2K, also known as the K55. First prototypes were completed in 1994. This artillery system entered service in 1999. South Korea ordered a total of 1136 of these hoetzers. Finland ordered 48 of these hoetzers for delivery in 2017. India ordered 100 of these artillery systems. In 2018 at least 25 units were reportedly delivered to the Indian Army. Estonia ordered 18 of these artillery systems. Deliveries began in 2020, and are planned to be completed in 2023. Norway ordered 24 of these artillery systems. Egypt was also evaluating this system. In 2021 Australia ordered these artillery systems, which included local production of the AS-9 Huntsman Hoetzer and AS-10 Ammunition Resupply Vehicle. Local production in Australia is planned to begin in 2024. The main armament of the K9 Thunder consists of 155mm-52 Lira Hoetzer, fitted with automatic shell handling and ramming system. It is compatible with standard NATO 155mm ammunition. Maximum range of fire is 30km with standard E-shell, and 40km with rocket-assisted shell. The K9 Thunder has a maximum rate of fire of 6 rounds per minute, and is capable of multiple round simultaneous impact firing. It can launch three shell in 15 seconds, each in different trajectories, so that all of the shells arrive on target at the same time. Sustained rate of fire is two rounds per minute. The K9 Thunder is fitted with automatic fire control system with internal navigation system and automatic gun laying systems. It takes 30 seconds to prepare to fire at emplacement and 60 seconds from movement. The Hoetzer can quickly leave its position in order to avoid counter battery fire. The K9 has all welded steel Holland turret with a maximum thickness of 19 mm. It provides protection from small arms and artillery shell fragments. Vehicle is also fitted with NBC protection system. This self-propelled Hoetzer has a crew of five, consisting of commander, gunner, assistant gunner, loader and driver. Vehicle is powered by German MTU Montana 881 KA 500 diesel engine, developing 1000 horsepower. Interestingly the same engine is used on the German PZH 2000 Hoetzer. Transmission of the K9 Thunder is a further development of that installed on the M1 Abrams main battle tank. The K9 is fitted with a hydropneumatic suspension. The K9 Thunder is resupplied form the K10 ammunition resupply vehicle. It is based on the K9 chassis. The reloading process is fully automated and can be performed without exposing the crew under enemy fire or in the contaminated areas. That's it for today's video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.